it's time for our battle of it. Now this one's between the Galaxy A80, Samsung's all screen slide up rotating camera phone versus the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, before we go ahead, let's go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification icon, and let's jump in. All right, so the Galaxy A80 is finally here, and we're comparing it against the Galaxy S10 Plus because, of course, that's the king on the hill. We said that a few videos back. Go check that video, of course. Now, the A80, of course, is Samsung's first true all-screen display smartphone, traditional smartphone. Um, it's got no notches. It's got no hole punches. It's got a little chin at the bottom, but this thing is all display. And you're going, okay, what makes this so special? Well, as I said, there's no notches or displays. So for Samsung, this is the first. What it has is a slide-up camera that rotates for your front-facing camera which is actually pretty cool. Now, comparing this to the Galaxy S10 Plus, there's a difference in size. The S10 Plus is smaller compared to the A80 when you look at them side by side. You can see looking at the wallpapers, both displays look really vibrant. That's of course is a wallpaper for One Punch Man. If you know Metal Bat, that is who he is. All wallpapers, use the link down below. And of course, go ahead and download them. But you can clearly see how different they are. The A80 has a 6.7 inch display, 2400 by 1080. It is a nice vibrant display. Now, both devices, as you see, have, of course, really nice displays. They house fingerprint sensors underneath the displays. The S10 Plus has an ultrasonic. The A80, I believe, has optical. I still could be wrong because I haven't gotten really proper confirmation. But the S10 Plus uh, finger display is just much better right now. The A80 is a little slower. It's not bad, it's just you have to press a little bit longer to unlock your device. That's just what it is. I think the SM Plus has done a much better job with the, up, um, the updates they've actually done with it. Now, in terms of performance, what do you have underneath? The SM Plus, of course, has the 855 processor. We know this quite well. It is a great processor for a lot of things. Gaming as well does a fantastic job. If you haven't seen our gaming videos on this, go ahead and check them out. You can see how well the S10 Plus does. Now the A80 comes with a Snapdragon 730 processor. It's the latest mid-range from Samsung so with eight gigs of RAM. And I did a gaming video on this and you can see how well this processor has. I think it's a really good processor. The one thing for PUBG fans you notice is that it doesn't do HDR for whatever reason. Don't know why, but I think the card processor is capable because I've actually tested the processor beforehand with Qualcomm and it was able to do the highest setting on PUBG. For whatever reason, it's not able to do that. But go check out that video. It is really, really good. Now, what you have with the, the A80 that's also different from this device is the fact that the A80 doesn't have a headphone jack. S10 Plus does have an iPhone jack. So that's something that sets them apart. Now the AD has that, of course, that sliding mechanism. So it's a little different, takes up more space and that's something you just have to pay attention to. Now they both have, of course, uh, speakers um, with the AD has uh, having a mono speaker, which is pretty loud, um, but it doesn't compare, of course, to the stereo speakers on the S10 Plus. Now USB Type-C charging for both of them. S10 Plus has a 4100 milliamp battery. A80 has a um, a 3700 milliamp battery, which is nice, but the AD uses a 25 watt charger, which is better than the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, I personally use, and this is not an ad, guys, I use the Anchor charger, which is a, it's a PD1 charger. It is a 30 watt charger. I love it because it's much faster. For both devices, it charges my devices as fast as possible. Definitely go ahead and pick it up if you want to. We have a link for you guys down below. It's an awesome charger, but as I said, the A80 is 25 watts. The Galaxy System Plus, I believe, is about 18 watts for its charging, or maybe even less. Somebody was gonna correct me. Now, when we talk about the cameras on this devices, the A80 slides up, it rotates. It's got three camera sensors in there. There's a 48 megapixel, which is the new half-inch sensor you find on the OnePlus and devices like that. Uh, we've got an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and then we have a time of flight sensor, which gives you the ability to do bokeh video, 
You can take bokeh shots, but bokeh video, it's really cool. Something a lot of devices just don't do. The SM Plus cannot do that. The SM Plus has uh, five cameras actually in total. Three in the back, all 12 megapixels, ultra wide, center camera, of course, and of course, a telephoto with 2x zoom. Then you have a front facing camera, 10 megapixels. Um, you can also do a slightly wider shot as well on that camera. Now, the big thing is how well are those cameras on the A80 compared to the Galaxy S10 Plus? Because if you're going to go in your head and going, S10 Plus, 800 minimum, I could probably find it. A80 600 looks really nice. The camera sensors, it's that new 48 megapixels. What's Samsung gonna do with it? It slides up and rotates, it's pretty cool. Well, let's take a look and see how they compare. So let's start with a video on both devices, the A80 on the left, the S10 Plus on the right. What you notice first is the A80 is worse at stabilization video over the Galaxy S10 Plus. S10 Plus does a really good job in stabilization. As you can see, you can also switch between lenses. So you can go between your ultra wide, you can go into your regular camera, and also telephoto A80, you cannot switch between lenses. So in terms of video, the S10 Plus is actually better. Now front facing camera here, as you know, the A80 uses the red camera for its front facing camera, it flips over. Uh, as you can see, the S10 Plus has better, I think, just color matching, though the A80 I would say is more close to real life, but more pleasing is what the S10 Plus actually gives, so all depends on what you like. Now, the A80 does allow you to use the wide angle lens, so I'm using that 8 megapixel wide angle lens here to capture uh, this wide angle photo, so it's it's great if you're actually with a bunch of friends, you can get very good wide angle photos uh, as opposed to what you get with the Galaxy S10 Plus, which basically is just cropped in and cropped out. This actually gives you a proper wide angle shot. Now, this is the wide angle shot comparing both. Uh, A80 on the left, to S10 Plus on the right. S10 Plus has this, you know, much more punchier colors. A80 is actually true to life and more flat but again, looks really good in daylight. Now, this is a standard shot, 48 megapixels on the A80 on the left, the regular uh, 12 megapixels on the S10 Plus on the right. You can see how well that actually looks here. Now, this shot here is more interesting because I shot directly at the sun. The A80 does a really good job. Uh, I think the S10 Plus is much better, better dynamic range on the S10 Plus, and also it actually showcases the sun as opposed to like a, uh, a flash or blob, if you will, on the A80 on the left. Nighttime shots. So on the very far left, you have the, of course, night mode on the A80, which you can see more of the street pebbles, uh, the, the street itself, as opposed to the center shot on the A80. But the Galaxy S10 Plus also in its, its scene detection also picks up that. So what I've noticed in terms of night shots is that both the S10 Plus and the night shot on the A80 kind of complement. And in this shot, I would say the A80 has a little slight, um, you know, is it slightly better with its night shot in the bar um, because you can see just a little bit brighter, gives more balance to the scene as opposed to what you have with the Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, and the center shot, of course, shows that the A80 there is a little bit darker. But I think uh, this gives you a really good idea of what both cameras actually bring to the table. So it seems that the S10 Plus camera is still better, but actually slightly. Not as much as of a gap as I expected. I think in daytime, the S10 Plus camera is really more vibrant. It's also more, much punchier with the AI algorithm, with the scene detection. Even though you do have scene detection, of course, on the Galaxy A80. Now the A80, of course, has the night mode, which is slightly better in certain situations, but not by much. So it seems the scene detection still works really good on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And maybe it's the difference in processes of the 855 and the 730 from Qualcomm, but I can't tell you, I can just tell you that the S10 Plus is slightly better. I think overall, when you look at both devices, you're gonna see something where it's, it's, quite, it's quite clear and also unclear. The S10 Plus is a better device. It brings in a lot of features that you've, we've compared and some extras like wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, which doesn't have, 
uh, the AD doesn't have, and also water resistance, so things that you might want to use. Wireless charger is great, uh, especially just dropping your device there and using it. I think those are the things that sometimes work. Now the AD brings in something completely different, where you've got a full display for a Samsung device. You've got a camera that slides up and rotates. It's the rear camera. So some of the selfies that I took look actually pretty nice, especially using the rear camera as opposed to the uh, uh, front facing camera that's completely different. You also got um, fast charging at 25 watts. And I said, you know, you can use a fast charger as well and get more from this device. Um, so I think that's that's the kind of weird balance you get here with this. The 8080 is about $600 right now, it's lowest point on eBay. And the S10 Plus, you can get it for around eight something. So I think the choice is yours. But for me, in this battle of it, the S10 Plus is still the winner. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, smash the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.